to my YouTube channel. My name is Dagona Kibuma and today we are having Dr. Barak in the house and he's going to tell us more about lifestyle, how lifestyle is more important than getting medication. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Debora. My yes. name is Dr. Bharat Piyas. I'm a consultant cardio diabetologist. I am working for Medifort Hospital, Kisi. Yes. Thank you so much and welcome. We, we are glad to be here. Thank you. And uh, we want to know how lifestyle is more important than yes, getting Yes, it's medication. a very important question we have to answer. Yes. See, uh, when we go back, maybe about uh, three to four generations, yes. uh, our ancestors lived without hypertension, mm -hmm. without diabetes. Yeah. It's a very rare disease in those days, you see, yes. diabetes. Even if you <clears throat> check the literature, yeah. use uh, whatever the local literature that is available. Yes. Of course, there were no doctors to diagnose diseases, yeah. but at least the symptoms must have been uh, recorded. Yeah. Okay, But they were not recorded. Yeah. If you see any culture, not only African, even Indian culture, if you go back to three, four generations back, yes. the diabetes, hypertension yeah. and hyperlipidemia are not as rampant as they are today now. Yes. Okay. So what changed? What changed was lifestyle. Okay. You see, yes. with the advent of technology, our lives definitely became more comfortable, yeah. but our health deteriorated mm -hmm. because of the change in the lifestyle. Yeah. In fact, when we discuss uh, lifestyle diseases like uh, hypertension and diabetes, yes. I don't like to categorize them as diseases. Okay. I like to categorize them as uh, consequences of altered lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So, lifestyle is very important in the management of these lifestyle related diseases. Yes. Yes. When when you speak of lifestyle, maybe you know someone can maybe someone out there is not understanding what lifestyle means. Mm. Maybe you can explain that. Yes, much. yes. Uh, lifestyle, yeah, not many people understand uh, what is lifestyle. Yeah. And uh, in fact, actually, it is very difficult to uh, define lifestyle also. Yeah. Lifestyle is the set of uh, practices mm -hmm. which we follow, uh, whether it be whether it is nutrition, mm -hmm. whether it is our work schedule, yeah. whether it is our sleep schedule, yes. whether it is even our uh, interpersonal relationships. Yes. Okay, these all constitute a lifestyle. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a dynamic process. Yes. Okay, yes. and uh, it is difficult to define, but it is easy to easier to understand. Okay. Okay. Yes. So it is difficult to define. But all these, uh, all these aspects come under lifestyle. Yeah. Change in any of these aspects can mm -hmm. adversely affect our life. Yeah. I mean, certain changes can adversely affect our lifestyle. Yeah. I think it's the, the digital world that we are in. Yeah. Because uh, let's say, for example, our forefathers yeah. who, uh, at their time, mm. they never used to take, you know, they, they, they never used to take so many things that we take right yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. Like, uh, let's say, for example, sodas yes. and uh, maybe food and beverages. Yes. More food and beverages. Not only food and beverages, yeah. even the electronics, you see? Yes. They didn't, after four fathers never had the yeah. cell phones, so they slept on time. Yes. You see? See, the exposure to the UV light, which yes. comes from these digital devices, yes. that badly affects the sleep rhythms. Yeah. You see? I myself suffered from it. Okay. And it is it was very difficult for me to get rid of this cell phone addiction. Yes. But somehow I got out of it, you see. Okay. Yeah. You know this uh the cell phone, you know, we cannot communicate without Yeah, using we a cannot cell phone. yeah, it became part of our life. Yeah. Yeah, we are most of the time and we spend our time on times on cell phone thanks to the social media. Yeah. Uh the social media is actually helping us to uh educate masses mm -hmm. about these topics. Yes. It is a very good thing. But at the same time, I have seen number of people who are addicted to cell phone. In yes. fact, I must admit to myself mm -hmm. that I did once upon a time got addicted to cell phone and I used to sleep very late, maybe okay. two o'clock, two o'clock in the night always on yes. the cell phone mm -hmm. because uh, the light from the cell phone, it affects your uh, circadian rhythm. Okay. okay. And it doesn't let you sleep. You see, you don't get sleep. Yes. Till you are totally tired. That's when you sleep, you know, at two o'clock, two o'clock in the night. Yeah. It doesn't happen anymore with me because after mm -hmm. going to the home, after eating food, I don't touch my cell phone. I just keep it aside mm -hmm. and I sleep. But, but I think uh, a cell phone is not bad using mm. it, but maybe oh, how you mean. manage yourself. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Because when you look mm. at a phone like this with full light, mm. it, can, it can affect you, it can affect your eyes. Yeah. Maybe your brain yeah. will sleep late. Yeah. You'll be chatting all the time, mm. watching videos on YouTube or mm. anywhere else. Mm. So 
I think it um, it can affect from yes. If you don't have adequate sleep, automatically you are stressed, and stress is the number one cause of all lifestyle related diseases. Yeah, yeah. You can get stressed. Yeah. Maybe you are you are going to wake up tomorrow at five a.m. and you're sleeping at two a.m. Yeah. So it it also affects sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Even understanding the lifestyle, what you have to understand is that the nervous system. Okay. okay? <clears throat> Our nervous system is uh, is uh, is classified into three types you know three parts actually yes. one is the central nervous system mm -hmm. the second one is the peripheral nervous system yeah. which is constituted by the spinal cord and the spinal nerves yes. and also the nerves innervating the muscles yeah. and there is something called autonomic nervous system mm -hmm. okay the central nervous system is the uh, planner and executioner okay. okay it is the higher centers like the cerebral cortex where our uh, thoughts and yeah. uh, emotions happen yeah. and this is the center for planning and execution Yes. Okay, the execution is carried out by the peripheral nervous system. The mm -hmm. nerves which carry the impulses yeah. from the brain into the body, they mm -hmm. constitute the peripheral nervous system. Yes. And the peripheral nervous system is responsible for carrying out the orders or the plan that is planned by the central nervous system. Yeah. Whereas there is something called autonomic nervous system which is very important for understanding the lifestyle. Okay. The autonomic nervous system is the housekeeping body mm -hmm. of the body. Okay. okay? It is the housekeeping organ of the body. Okay, uh, housekeeping means you don't need to think to breathe, mm -hmm. you don't need to think to digest your food, yeah. you don't need to think for your heart to pump, yes. you don't need to think for your lungs to breathe. Mm -hmm. Okay, all these automatic activities which happen at a regular pace and rhythm, yeah. <coughs> they are the ones which are controlled by autonomic nervous system. Mm -hmm. This autonomic nervous system has, has also got again two parts, okay. one is sympathetic nervous system, the other one is parasympathetic nervous system. Okay. Okay. The sympath the parasympathetic nervous system is the housekeeping organ actually. Mm -hmm. The parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for all normal responses of the body. Okay. Like eating, uh, digest, uh, not eating, mm -hmm. digesting the food. Yeah. Uh, maintaining the heart rhythm, maintaining the breathing rhythm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what you call. Uh, urge to urinate mm -hmm. when you when we start urinating yes. autonom autonomic nervous system plays a role in com uh, you know compressing the bladder and uh, pushing out the fluids that yeah. is urine it is also responsible for uh, defecation mm -hmm. okay so all these automatic activities which don't need our volition yes. they are all controlled by parasympathetic nervous system okay. and all the normal activities are controlled by parasympathetic nervous system mm -hmm. and now comes the role of sympathetic nervous system okay. sympathetic nervous system is responsible for dealing with an emergency mm -hmm. okay yes the the function of fight flight and fright yeah we so, talked about it yeah this fight flight fright uh, functions are carried out by sympathetic nervous system okay. so for example you are in a you are a caveman yeah. you are in a jungle you are attacked by animal okay. so either you fight it or you run away from it yeah. or you cover in fear okay yes so all these three activities are stressful Yes. By stress, I mean when you are in danger, yeah. automatically your heart rate goes up. And you will always think that yeah. you are going to die or something. Yeah, your heart rate goes up, yes. you are panicking, your pressure is high. If you, if I, if you check, your pressure is high. Mm -hmm. The glycogen from the liver, glycogen is the stored glucose in the liver. Okay. It gets converted into glucose so that you have instant energy to get on with the particular scenario. I have a question. Mm. Between your heart and your brain, mm -hmm. what comes first? Is it the brain that tells the heart or it's mm -hmm. the heart that tells the brain now there's a snake there, run. Mm -hmm. Then it starts running. It's the brain which tells. Okay. In the scientific terms, mm -hmm. they, we don't uh, really uh, understand, we, we, we actually we haven't understood the concept of heart. Okay. What we usually mean by heart. In scientific terminology, heart is the, just a pumping organ. Okay. okay? Uh, the heart, what you are mentioning, mm -hmm. is is a, is a cultural or a behavioral phenomenon. Okay. But uh, if we really have to start thinking about what is heart, mm -hmm. then we can think of it as the uh, higher uh, brain function. Okay. Okay. So it is a very difficult concept to understand, but yes. it is not very much relevant for our discussion. What about when when you maybe let's say you're walking in a forest? Mm. And you feel there is something wrong mm. around where you are standing. Yeah, you panic. You right? feel. Yeah. And then it turns out to be true. Mm. 
that is a hunch that is totally different that is not related to lifestyle okay. maybe when we discuss about neuro neural networks that when that's when we can discuss about it it's a very interesting okay. topic but it is this is that is not very relevant for our discussion okay, okay? so uh, the uh, over reaction the the over activation of sympathetic nervous system is what is causing all lifestyle related diseases mm -hmm. okay so sympathetic nervous system uh, causes your blood pressure to elevate okay. your heart rate to go up your mm -hmm. glucose to be high yes. so all these this is what happens in a diabetic patient or a hypertensive patient yes. so your sympathetic nervous system is more active than the parasympathetic nervous system mm -hmm. there has to be a balance between parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system okay. when this balance is lost that's when you get lifestyle related diseases okay. so our lifestyle our altered lifestyle indirectly is contributing to this okay. okay the single most important lifestyle intervention that has actually changed over a period of time is salt Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, people can argue that uh, people have been eating salt from a long time. Yeah. But it's not true. Mm -hmm. In uh, big big universities and in, in world famous universities like Stanford, Harvard, and all. Yeah. They have they they have uh, these anatomy museums and physiology mu museums in which they keep samples of the blood, uh, samples of the blood and body fluids mm -hmm. of people from various generations. Okay. okay, these universities they have existed from numerous number of years. Yes. So they have kept the samples mm -hmm. of our ancestors also. Yeah. Okay, and they have scientifically proven that our ancestors definitely had low, very low LDL cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Okay, cholesterol. Uh, cholesterol has many types, yeah. in which LDL cholesterol is the number one risk factor for heart disease. Okay. Okay, this LDL cholesterol was very low in our ancestral bloods. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, and even the salt content was very low mm -hmm. and this was actually scientifically proven. That's one of the reasons why uh, we, we cardiologists, we always say, uh, eat less oil, take less fat, yeah. don't drink sodas, yes. don't take salt. Okay. This mm -hmm. is a scientifically proven thing. Yeah. See? What about exercises? Yeah. Exercise is also very important. Okay. You see, even you take, for example, even if you take Kenya, mm -hmm. our ancestors are what? Either uh, agriculturists or hunters. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. Doing agriculture in Kisi, imagine how difficult it is. Agriculture. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly, you know, tea palm plantations are brought by British Britishers. Yes. But before that, what was there? Either maize or uh, wheat. Wheat. Yeah. Okay? So, and doing agriculture in a hilly area like this, it's a very time, you know, uh, what you call muzzle rating work, yes. back rating work. Mm -hmm. So they match our ancestors naturally had the you know what you call exercise. Yeah. And even uh, what you call even if you take uh, hunters, mm -hmm. hunting in hilly areas is not a joke. Yeah. It's very difficult. You, you see? have to walk. Yeah. In a long time, some day yeah. maybe sometimes you come back without getting yes. what you wanted. Yes. Yes. So they naturally uh, the, the their lifestyle is such that they are. Really hardworking people, yeah. at least physically hardworking people. So mm -hmm. they they never needed an extra exercise. And they were mm -hmm. healthy. Another, yeah, they were healthy. Advantage. Even if you take, uh, for example, if you take the grandmothers who come to me, yeah. they are actually healthier than us. It's yeah. true. Actually, the Corona pandemic proved that. Yeah. Yeah. See, uh, keep, uh, especially women. Yeah. Women in uh, Af Africa, especially in PC, mm -hmm. they are used to very hard work. Yeah. You see. So in uh, when I uh, when the Corona pandemic on the rage, uh, I was able to save only fifty percent of the patients who were admitted into ICU. Okay. Okay. Of those people, most mm -hmm. of the people who died were men, not women. Okay. Women were very few. Despite being, you know, uh, I think even the what you call the parameters for obesity have to be altered mm -hmm. according to the African conditions. Yeah. People look obese here, but they are healthy. Yeah, I because, know how it is. Yeah, they, their health. yeah they, they look really overweight actually. Mm -hmm. Some uh, grandmothers, they are really fat, but uh, yeah. they are able to withstand the corona effects, you see. Yes. That's because they were used to that kind of lifestyle where they worked really hard. Okay. You see? So their bodies got adjusted to that. So uh, that's the reason why I always tell it is very easy to tell what is disease. What yeah. is normal, very difficult to tell. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. And the Western standard should not be applied. In my in my opinion, okay. uh, when we are uh, defining the health of at least the uh, African people. What's uh, one last thing that you can tell our viewers about lifestyle? Very simple. Follow the lifestyle of your grandfathers and grandmothers. Either be hard working <coughs> or create, yes. create your environment in such a way that yeah. you really work hard. Yeah. 
Yes. The most important thing is not having stress. Okay. Okay. Uh, it is very simple not having stress. Many people think that it is a very difficult thing. Yeah. But uh, not having stress is a very simple thing if you know how to manage stress. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's again becomes a psychology class, but mm -hmm. uh, it is very important for the viewers to know. It is very easy to deal with stress yeah. when you when you learn how to start living in the present. Okay. Okay, yes. when you start living in the present, you will not have any tension. Yeah. And this is the truth also. Oh, when you understand yourself. Yeah, understand. It's not understanding yourself. Mm -hmm. it's, it's more about uh, how do you condition your brain. Okay. For example, uh, I have an important matter. I just got a mail actually uh -huh. uh, from one of my colleagues. Mm -hmm. It's a little stressful thing. Okay. But if I think about it, I cannot speak like this freely. Okay. Yeah. You see? Yes. So I just brushed it, brushed it aside. Okay, just before I started this interview, I got a mail which is a little disturbing for me. Okay. But I should not think about it. I just have to leave it. How do I brush it aside? Now I am talking about it. See, yes. I am sharing it. Yeah. So my stress is gone. It's <laughs> okay. Yeah. So past is something which can, you can never change. Mm -hmm. Future is something which you can never predict. Yeah. What is there in your hand right now is the present. Yes. So do what you are supposed to do. Okay. Yes. When you do that, you will not have stress and right. that's what is actually karma yeah okay nowadays people express karma in all fancy ways karma no, it's, is real. yeah it's like uh, it, it has become a very fancy word but yeah. people don't even understand what is karma karma is what you are here to do okay okay what you are mm -hmm. here to do what you are supposed to do do that that's all don't think about so that's others the meaning of karma. yeah that's the meaning of karma oh. Don't think about anything else and do what you are supposed to do here. Right now I am supposed to give interview to us. Yeah. If I think about uh, that mail or whatever it is, yeah. that will be idiotic. I will not be doing justice to the interview. Yes. So I have to concentrate completely on this interview. Yeah. Then this interview will become a good one and mm -hmm. people will appreciate it. Yes. See, so that's what is karma. Okay. okay? And uh, as far as lifestyle is concerned, I advise all young men, all young people of uh, Kenya, Okay. Stop drinking uh, sodas. Do you know how much service you do to your country? You see, mm -hmm. Kenya is my, uh, I consider Kenya as my adopted country. Yeah. You see, so I, I, I'm, I also feel patriotic about it. I don't know why people don't feel patriotic about <laughs> your own country. You see, if you all stop drinking sodas, mm -hmm. you can save at least three to four, three to five billion dollars per year for, for Kenya. That's true. And that can be spent on health and education. Yeah. And really, that will be really upbringing the people. Yeah. You see, That's we can true. talk more about lifestyle in detail. We can talk more more about lifestyle in the next video. Mm -hmm. But for this video, the take home message I give to everybody is: yes. stop drinking sodas. You know, you are unnecessarily putting lots of calories in your body, lots of sugar in your body, thereby predisposing yourself to lifestyle related diseases, especially yes. diabetes. Thank you so much, yeah. Doctor, for today. Yeah. If you want to learn more about lifestyle, you should keep on tuning to this channel. Just uh, smash that like button, subscribe, and let's meet next time. Yes, like, share, and subscribe. Yes. Thanks for listening, viewers. Thank you.